him about that. And he said there were a lot of similarities between his father and Mike. By the way, it's four fouls on Jason Buchanan, so he has to go to the bench, and David Keane, number 11, comes back in for St. John's. Tommy Amica's record, the fine point guard, now an assistant of 708 assists, is going to be history because Hurley is going to pass that record. There's another one. He had 588 coming into this season. 64 to 37. Boy, do they make their defense. Look, Red Hill at the point of the pressure. You got those long arms, the quickness, the trap. There's the charge. St. John's is being humiliated and being absolutely embarrassed by this Duke team here today. There's the steal. Here comes Hurley. There's the great look. And there's the conversion. And here comes the pressure. Grant Hill. And there's Tommy Amica. This guy's going to be a heck of an assistant coach. Sitting next to him is one of the real, real important people to this program. Peter Gadette, former head coach at West Point, who does all their scouting, prepares, and gets them... Oh. Look at them look for one another. Are you serious? I mean, what are they not doing, Ron Franklin? You know, I'm just sitting here thinking, and they're not playing the Little Sisters of the Poor. This St. John's basketball team is a very talented oh. crew. You're talking a top 10 team in America they're playing right here. Oh, here they go. Little showtime. Yes, sir. Nice drive, misses, and Middleton on the foul. Middleton, Lamont Middleton with a good offensive rebound. I mean, it's just a thrill to be able to sit here and be paid to watch this kind of performance. This is one of the most impressive performances I've seen in many a year by a club this early in the season playing this well against a top-rated team, as you said earlier. We thought this one would be close, but right now, See how they 29 the court? points. And there's the steal. Here comes St. John. This is Kane. He'll drive it oh, and can't get it to go. And Seeley with the tap. Should have had it to Seeley a little bit earlier, so Seeley had to finalize it with the tip. They got such an excellent rotation, Duke, as well, when they bring in guys like Lang and Cherokee Parks. So they're going to make them play them. Come out here and check us. That's their attitude right now. We're going to go 2 3. Foul lane extended, a la Oklahoma State. What this does takes away any kind of help. I'm sure Jimmy could diagram this for the people inside with the telestrator, but it's a 2-3 foul lane extended to bring away help and try to isolate people for some cuts to the goal. Now they go to a 1-4 set. About to actually, go under 13 minutes left in this one. Some call it 1-4, some call it a 1-2-2. Shot clock is now to 6, down to 5. Oh, early. Oh, 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 Mr. Conaseco, only thing he can watch is sit there and watch this club put an absolute clinic on in dribble penetration and how to get free. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is awesome. This is the 3S performance. Super scintillating and sensational. There it is. Dunk it away. Hold me back, Mr. Franklin. <laughs> you're on. I can see you're I, I on. I really am. Because Mike said yesterday, you know, he's the guy that speaks his mind. But uh, he, he just said, yeah, we're pretty good. <laughs> you know, he was really amazing today when he saw me. And I walked in. I said, Mike, are you as good as everybody said? He said, Dick, we are good. <laughs> he's got Michigan coming up when? Next week, I guess it is. So they, they've got some real tests coming up. Well, I'll tell you, if Michigan turned the ball over 34 times against the University of Detroit, Mercy... They may be screaming mercy. Those young kids are going to get a little baptism. The Webbers and company and their great talent. This is a whole different level. Well, Davis now becomes contagious.